Welcome to uh, this broadcast. My name is uh, Mikkel Narvak Daman, and I'm right now in my in my office and my car in Kongsberg, home in Norway. And um, in this program, I would like to share and show you some clip uh, from a sermon uh, that I was uh, holding in uh, in Benin last year in 2018. Uh, I was preaching there. We were having a, a campaign, a festival, a crusade, preaching the message of the cross. So join me right now in Benin. And I'll be right back after to pray with you and pray for you. God bless you. Enjoy. That hell was not made for man, but was made for Satan and for his angels. So I don't swear when I say to hell with the devil and to heaven with the people. Amen. Amen. Jesus is here today. Jesus Christ is here this soir. Jesus Christ is here today. Amen. 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 And you know, I am going to read a scripture for you. Et je vais vous lire une écriture. And then I will explain the scripture for you. Et je vais vous expliquer ce que je vais vous lire. Ne m'entendez pas dire mon nom là. And I believe that even as I read the scripture, many people are going to be healed. Because the Bible says he sent his word and he healed them. I want to read from for you today from Matt, no, from John chapter 8. Je voudrais vous lire l'évangile de Jean chapitre 8. It's the story about Jesus and the adulterous woman. C'est au sujet de Jésus-Christ et une femme adultère. Amen. So I'm going to read the scripture and then I will explain it to you. Je vais vous lire le verset et je vais vous l'expliquer. Amen. So it says, but, but early in the morning he came into the temple and all the people came to him and he sat down and taught them. Then the scribes and Pharisees brought to him a woman caught in adultery. And when he had set her in the midst, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in adultery in the very act. No Moses in the law commands us that such should be stoned. But what do you say? This they said, testing him that they may have something of which to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down and wrote on the ground with his finger as though he did not hear. So when they continued asking him, he raised himself up and said to them, He who is without sin among you shall throw the first stone at her. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. Then those who heard it, being convicted by their conscience, went out one by one, beginning with the oldest, even to the last, and Jesus was left alone with a woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had raised himself up and saw no one but the woman, he said to her, Woman, where are those accusers of yours? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said to her, Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Amen. 
Well, first, I want to give you some introductory information. Donc, je vais vous donner premièrement une information introductive. So, so we will understand what is the, the big points here. Donc, nous allons comprendre toi et moi le point culminant ici. So I'm going to give you a bit, little bit of teaching first. Je vais vous donner l'enseignement. And when I start preaching, I will let you know, okay? Amen. We read, you know, about the Pharisees. The Pharisees. The Pharisees were they were jealous of Jesus. They did not like that Jesus was more popular than them. Jesus was drawing bigger crowds than the Pharisees. The Bible says it was because of envy that delivered him to be crucified. Et la Bible dit qu'à la fin, ils l'ont livré pour être crucifié. So what they say, they say that, you know, uh, we have to find, we have to make come up with a good plan so we can get rid of Jesus. Et ils disent que nous allons émettre des plans pour nous débarrasser de ce Jésus. You know, and I believe they gathered the biggest brains in Israel to come up with a good plan, with a, a waterproof plan. They say that, uh, you know, we have to get rid of Jesus. And they say, you know, people say that he is the Messiah that Israel has been waiting for. But they say he cannot be the Messiah because we, you know, we have proof. They say, you know, he cannot be the Messiah. Donc, pour ce faire, 
Jésus-Christ ne peut pas être le Messie. So I thought we are going to hatch a, a plan that is foolproof. Donc il a planifié à cause de la base de ses preuves. They say when Jesus is, uh, you know, preaching, teaching, or healing, or you know, anything. Et Jésus Christ guérit, il restaure, il est dans la vie. Yes, it is a waddle. I'm always who. And he is gathered with a big crowd of people. Et il mange et boit avec des brigands, des pêcheurs. Mais est-ce que les gens ne peuvent pas parler ni à vous à vous? They say we are going to uh, we're going to bring a, a woman caught in adultery. Nous allons amener une femme qui est euh, arrêtée en flagrant délit d'adultère. And you know we're going to say uh, Moses commanded that such a woman should be stoned. Parce que what, what do you say? Moïse a recommandé dans sa loi que une telle femme doit être Jesus, no, Moses commanded that such a woman should be stoned. But what do you say? Maintenant, Moïse a recommandé dans sa loi que une telle femme doit être lapidée. Qu'est-ce que toi, Jésus, toi, tu dis? You know, he could only give two answers. Et il a donné deux réponses seulement. Number one, he could, uh, you know, say, you know, Pharisees, they're Pharisees, you know, my friend of sinners. Il dit que eh, Jésus Christ a fait des amis, fait eh, des amis des pécheurs. Why do you want to be so cruel and uh, and uh, kill her so early in the morning? How do you, why do you want to be so cruel and kill her early in the morning? If Jesus had said that, then the Pharisees would say, you know this, this he's speaking against Moses. Si Jésus Christ condamnait la femme, les pharisiens vont dire, il est contre la loi de Moïse. And Jesus would be in big trouble. And Jesus Christ would be in big trouble. Or number two, Jesus could say, you know, you are right, Pharisees, pick up the new stone and give it to her. You are the Pharisees. You can take the first piece of wood and put it on the woman. Jesus would be in trouble with the Roman uh, occupation force. Because death penalty was only going through Rome at that moment at time. So whenever Jesus would answer, he would be in trouble. And that was exactly the point. It was a trap. So do you get the point? Okay, so now I start preaching. You know, um, what did Jesus answer the Pharisees? How did Jesus reply? You know, Jesus said, He who is, a, he who is without sin, Throw the first stone at her. Il a dit aux Pharisiens que celui qui n'a jamais péché dans sa vie, qu'il prenne la première pierre et jette à la femme. That moment, something happened in that place. Something that also happened tonight in this place. En ce moment, en ce jour, quelque chose s'est passé. Et je sais que ce quelque chose va se passer aujourd'hui ce soir. Amen. The Holy Spirit start to move. Le 
Alexandre a commencé par nous voir. Alexandre a commencé par nous voir. There stood the oldest Pharisee, already made stones in his pocket. Il avait les Pharisiens avec des pierres de sel dans leur poche. Pharisiens pas dans des mouvements dans la base de Dubaï. And he, the words of Jesus is ringing in his ears. He who is without sin, throw the first stone at her. Mais Jésus-Christ a répondu, celui parmi vous qui n'a jamais péché, prenne la première pierre pour lancer à la femme. Et les Jésus Christ parmi vous qui n'a jamais péché, prenne la première pierre pour lancer à la femme. Et les Jésus Christ parmi vous qui n'a jamais péché, prenne la première pierre pour lancer à la femme. Et les Jésus Christ parmi vous qui n'a jamais péché, prenne la première pierre pour lancer à la femme. Et les Jésus Christ parmi vous qui n'a jamais péché, et immédiatement quelque chose, le Saint-Esprit a touché Jésus comme ce bruit que je fais. And a miracle happened. Et un miracle s'est produit. This old senior Pharisee, for the first time in his life, he had a vision. Et le Pharisien avait une vision. He saw a vision in broad daylight uh, with his eyes opened. Leurs yeux étaient ouverts et ils ont vu une vision. How do I know? Comment le sais-je? There was an eyewitness there. Il y avait des témoins oculaires là-bas. The Holy Spirit was there. Le Saint Esprit était là-bas. Hallelujah. So uh, you know what did he see? Qu'est-ce qu'il a vu? He saw two tables of stone. Il a vu deux, deux tables de pierre with the Ten Commandments written. Avec les dix commandements écrits. And he couldn't but read number, uh, the commandment number one. Et il n'a pas pu lire le commandement numéro un. And as he was, was reading the commandment number one, he had a, a voice, a, a fearful a voice inside him. Il écoutait une voix qui retentissait au-dedans de lui. A very loud voice on his inside. Une voix très lourde. The, the voice only said one word. Et la voix n'a dit qu'un seul mot. Guilty, guilty. Condamnation, condamnation. He shook. Et il a tremblé. The voice was so loud, you wondered. Parce que la voix était tellement rude. He thought maybe the other Pharisees had heard him. You know, and then he, he read commandment number two. And, and the same voice rose up inside of him, guilty. And commandment number three, four, and five, guilty, guilty, guilty. Culpabilité, culpabilité. Oh, through up to commandment number 10. Guilty. Le commandement numéro 10, a dit aussi. Culpabilité, culpabilité. And you know, et vous le savez, he, was, he thought, if I throw a stone at her, et les parisiens pensaient, si je lance la pierre à la, à la femme, Um, he thought that that stone is going to hit that woman and kill her. Peut-être cette pierre va. But then the stone is coming to va come. Tuer la femme. To Ça come. Then the sto stone is going to come back at me like a football. Et le jeu sera comme un jeu de football. And he's going to kill me too. Et lui aussi on va le tuer. I don't dare to throw that stone. I don't dare to throw that stone and it's going to be like suicide. Je ne peux pas lancer la pierre. Because I'm also guilty. Parce que moi aussi je suis coupable. You know, so he thought, I dare not throw that stone at her. Et il dit, je ne peux pas lancer la pierre à la femme. So he looked at all the Pharisees. Et il a regardé tous les Pharisiens. And they were all busy with themselves. Et même ils étaient occupés les uns avec les autres. So he, he pulled up his holy garment. 
Et il a pris son, son manteau. He looked right. He looked right. Il, il regarde à gauche et à droite. He put in reverse gear. Il a placé la vitesse. And he backed out of there. Et il a mis la reverse. Il est allé en arrière. The second Pharisees. The second senior Pharisees. Et le deuxième Parisien. He had a similar, similar experience. We have, nous avons plutôt, pardon, et nous avons les mêmes expériences. The Holy Spirit touched him. Le Saint Esprit l'a touché. And his mind went back to uh, last Wednesday, last week. Et sa mentalité est retournée vers la semaine, la semaine anterieure. He saw himself, you know, doing exactly the same as he now com uh, condemned that woman for. Il s'est vu dans le passé, il s'est regardé dans le passé comme étant injuste ou bien pécheur pour cette femme. He thought, I dare not throw that stone at her. Il dit, je ne peux pas lancer la pierre. Because that stone will hit her, but it will come back at me like a tennis ball, and it will kill me too. Parce que si jamais je lançais cette pierre à la fin, la pierre là va aussi retourner contre moi, et je serai mort comme elle. So what did he do? Comment ils ont fait? He also looked left, he looked right. Il a aussi regardé à gauche et à droite. He pulled up his holy garment and he put it in the reverse and he backed out as well. Il a pris son manteau et il a reculé. My Bible says that you know from the oldest to the youngest, they all backed out. Ma Bible me rapporte ce soir que du plus petit jusqu'au grand, ils se sont enfuis. Amen. Amen. And what did Jesus do? The Bible says that Jesus, he had stooped down on the ground, writing with his finger in the ground. So I hope that you enjoyed this uh, clip from uh, Benin in West Africa. If you want to watch more of, uh, of from the other days of the crusade in Benin or in other parts of the world, after we were in Benin, we went to Togo to have a campaign there in Kara up north. Um, and if you want to watch more, you can go to our YouTube channel and you will find a link from our website, graceonly.net. You know, Many people, they call me an evangelist. They say, oh, Mikkel is an evangelist. But actually, I am not an evangelist. Because just because you're preaching the gospel doesn't make you an evangelist. Uh, healing the sick doesn't make you a healing evangelist. I believe that preaching the gospel and healing the sick... Uh, is for every believer, every part of the body of Christ, not only for the evangelist. So yes, I love evangelism. Yes, I love the gospel. And I pray for the sick. I heal the sick. I cast out demons. Yes, I love to, to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. The love of God manifests in the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross and his resurrection from the dead. So I just encourage you, whether you're an evangelist or not, as long as you are a believer in Christ, I will uh, just encourage you to preach the gospel, preach the good news, start to lay hand on the sick and... Uh, If you believe these signs shall follow you, you will lay hand on the sick and they shall recover. So maybe you say that, I, I don't know if it works. Well, if you don't try, it won't work. So the only way to find out, lay your hand on the sick and I believe they shall recover. I'll believe with you and preach the gospel. Not everyone will receive, not everyone will um, hear, but um, how, how are they going to believe if no one preaches so it's like sowing and something will some of the seed will produce a lot of fruit and some will not and that's how it is to preach the gospel some will receive some will not some will love you some will hate you but that's that's just the way it is so preach the gospel and 
those who are determined uh, for elected for eternal life they will believe so preach the gospel and uh, if you want to help us spread the good news of Jesus Christ around the world I will encourage you to become a partner with us you can go to our website graceonly.net you see it on the website on the on the screen and if you want to be a monthly partner or give a one-time gift we are so thankful for your support and your prayer for our ministry for me for my family wife and two kids thank you for standing with us in this remarkable season of, of harvest if you want to receive Jesus as your Savior pray with me right now say Lord Jesus I believe you died for my sins I believe you rose again I believe you are the Son of God I surrender my life to you Jesus all I am and all I have, Jesus, I give to you. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I put my trust in you for salvation and ask that you give me your Holy Spirit and empower me to do what Jesus did. If you pray that prayer from your heart, congratulations. I believe you became born again. Let us hear from you. Email us. Get into a good Bible teaching church and uh, get someone to baptize you in water and start to share the good news read your bible every day talk to jesus pour out your heart before him and he will teach you to hear and be guided and led by his holy spirit he will teach you all things so i want to pray for you if you're sick in your body i command all sickness all pain all disease get out in the name of jesus right now be healed test it out check it out yeah see you again next week god bless you we love you god loves you so much have an amazing day